Lynn, it's Heather Kalea. Um, I started this relationship rescue for families who are deployed or apart a lot. And I work with families and children and offer stress management tips and relaxation tips for the families that are apart. And the one thing I can tell you, I was a little about me, my dad was Air Force, but um, and he went to Vietnam, so my mom dealt with that when we were little, and I was a military wife of over 20 years, and I am divorced now, so I have lots of advice for people on how to keep the marriage together and how to keep relationships strong and keep family strong. So I have all these this education as well to help balance these things out. And had I know early on some of the challenges that I was going to face, um, I never imagined the things that I would face. And I'm a much stronger person, and my kids are completely resilient and astound me every day. But the things I want to tell you is um, that I understand what's happening, and I understand what you're going through. And these are not easy times, but with a little help and a little relationship rescue, I can support you and help you during this journey. So the one thing I want to tell you for children is some people have parents that are on a ship or a boat and they can't always have internet access. So the one thing that we have designed is that whether you have an iPad or some type of device that you can record a few of their favorite stories of their little kids. Um, a lot of families read the Bible to their kids at night or in the morning. Um, prayer time, we even recommend even during the blessing at dinner, maybe doing a blessing together with that little video so that mom or dad is, is a part of that. And they could, because they can't always get on the computer. Um, having little stories, little notes inside their toys and games and things like that, like if there's a favorite game, having the parents leave little notes and things around the house. And if this isn't possible, Again, having just a backup of videos of each other or even family videos of things that you guys did together is a beautiful thing to share on the nights when the kids are really missing mom or dad. And again, sometimes, you know, in our, in our situation, we would go weeks without speaking to him because he was in the desert. So we didn't have this great technology we have now. So... We're very fortunate to have that. But so for kids, the most important thing is for the parents to understand that this is harder on them than it is harder on the adults. And the kids need to feel supported and loved no matter what. So offering that love and support from a distance, whether I said, you know, you play a, a movie that you like together or something important to the children and having that adult parent be mature enough to see the signs of stress and anxiety. And if the parent can't handle the stress and anxiety, I highly recommend you call a professional who can, because this is going to make the transition so much easier of these times apart. Now, for couples, the most important thing that I can tell you, which was my biggest mistake, was when we were apart, uh, I would argue. And arguing when he has no control over what is happening at home added more stress to his situation. And at the time, I didn't realize it. So I started journaling and writing things out to help me deal with the stress. I joined groups. I went to church. I started hanging out around other people because I was consumed with the fear of what might happen to him. And once I let go of that fear, things felt much smoother for everybody. They fell into place. It was, it was a much more peaceful environment. And I trusted him to know that he was doing what he had to do. Also, um, this was not my personal experience, but um, a friend of mine advised me at the time to write things out when I was angry and not share it with him and only talk about the good things that happened during the day with the kids. 
and I would journal each day and night so that when I would speak to him, I was able to share the little things that happened with the kids so I didn't forget and I didn't feel overwhelmed and stressed. So writing out little notes each day of what was happening in our lives was beneficial for both. Um, secondly, as a relationship expert and a counselor and uh, life coach, the one thing I will say is get all your stuff on the table. Know what you need, know what you want, and be clear about that before they leave. Because the needs of someone are key to keeping a relationship together and a marriage together. If they can't provide you with the things that you need, then there's no point in going on. There is no point in keeping the relationship going. So if you need, who knows? I mean, I don't know. If you need a back rub every night or you need um, to have a physical experience every day or if you need to have some sort of um, specific support or things that are said to you or things that are done around the house if if that other person can't provide that while they're away and offer you a solution then those things need to come up because otherwise it becomes all these itty bitty tiny little things and it becomes like shards of glass in the relationship so understanding who you are and what you need before they leave is going to be extremely validating to each other. It's going to make the relationship stronger and it's going to help each other because once you communicate clearly the needs of each other and the family's needs, all these things are going to go much, much smoother. So those are my tips for today. Again, I do relationship rescue. I do offer military discounts for families. I do grief counseling. I offer um, ministry and prayer to families in need. Again, Heather Kalea, check me out. And I'll continue to put uh, videos out and help you in any way I can. So have a blessed day. Mahalo.